It's Friday and we're gonna go get Mexican food. Friday, Friday, gotta get Mexican food on Friday. And we've never been to this place and I'm wondering, <laughs> I've never been to Java and I hope it's good because we've yet to find good Mexican food here in the New York City. Hi, baby. Best guac I've had in a minute. Storm is coming. Did you hear that? <laughs> That's like right above us. That sounds fake. It sounds like Universal Studios. <laughs> salad with a side of grilled chicken. I got a green tea <coughs> and Link and I came to Central Park. It's so nice this weekend. It's supposed to hit like the 90s so I'm definitely in the shade. I don't know. I knew I didn't want to do anything crazy this weekend because I feel like I'm still mentally recovering from last weekend. Last weekend was GovBall. The vlog should be out by the time you see this but it's so nice that I wanted to like at least get out of the house not go spend money or anything so that's why we made our own lunch and the park is free. This is kale, gargonzola, pine nuts, cranberries with olive oil and lemon. Mm. Today's a big day. Alex and I are going to watch Inside Out 2 and I'm so excited you guys. I've had this on my calendar since the very first time I saw a trailer for it. Oh it's one of my favorite Pixar movies. I mean who doesn't love it? If you haven't seen the first one even if you're not like a Pixar or Disney person, you have to see it. It's so good. It's literally like something every human should watch, kid or adult. Eee! Finally got tickets. Tickets were like really booked out, so I'm actually surprised we got tickets, but very grateful nonetheless. I'm just gonna wash my face, throw on some sunscreen. No need to wear makeup because I'm just gonna cry it all off. I already know I'm gonna cry like a sissy wah wah. I've tried not to look up anything as far as reviews for this movie. I did see like one or two TikToks of people saying it's so, so good. It's just such a creative yet very simple concept for a movie and I absolutely love it. I don't know if you can see but you see that dark mark right there? My dermatologist said it's a skin spot or a sunspot which so I guess I do know what it is but like where did you come from little guy? Cause I wear sunscreen. Like what else do you want me to do? After I went to the park yesterday I just ended up coming home and finishing the vlog that I was editing. It's the GovBall vlog. If you haven't watched it you absolutely should. I purposely like didn't even just ripped out my nose ring. Uh, I purposely didn't monetize it because there's so many music sets in there that I filmed. So check it out. Renee Rapp, Post Malone, Pizza, Chapel Roan, Dominic Fike, Sabrina Carpenter. Oh, I got it. Yeah, a lot of good ones. Usually I wouldn't film those things for copyright reasons, but I'm like, this is a festival vlog. Who cares? So enjoy. I'm just wearing my big peaches tee and some boxers and probably just some sneakers. It's honestly really hot outside, so I don't want to wear that much clothes, but I also like to cover myself a, like a little bit in a theater. I just get weird about like if I wore a crop top and like my skin's touching the seat. Okay, and for smell goods, I, ooh, I'm so excited. I just got, well, I didn't just get, I've worn this for decades. Oh, Viva La Juicy, you guys. This brings me back to like high school and middle school and college. I wore this for like years. Oh my God, okay, I sprayed a lot. Mm, it's just such a time capsule. I love it so much. It's like sweet, but not like cheap sweet. Like it's still like a very luxury scent to me. Oh my God, it like transports me. I feel like I've been trying to wear scents more. Like usually if I know I'm just going to like a movie or like the grocery store, like I'm like, I'm not gonna put on perfume, but I don't know, it makes me feel put together when I put it on. I also, I saw a video of Tara Yummy. She sprayed her hairbrush and then brushed it through her hair. That's absolutely genius. If my hair was down today, I would do that. So yeah, I got the Viva La Juicy. This one I just wanted to try out, honestly. I just liked the name and the notes. The notes are like pistachio, vanilla, amber. I think there's even a little bit of sandalwood in it. Oh, it smells so good. This is Deck of Scarlet. I'm expensive. This one is Scent of Wood Calm Cedar. I want a candle like this. Or sorry, Calm In Cedar. I, I have other ones from this brand that I really like. I love the purple too. <laughs> 
Another nostalgic one, if you know, you know. Britney Spears Curious, oh baby. This brings me back to like, fifth grade. Alex wore this the other day too. The second I pulled it out of the box, she was like, can we please share that? I was like, yes. I think for nostalgic purposes, Viva La Juicy and Britney Spears take the cake this month for Scentbird. I've leaned away from trying to find like my one signature scent and I like to just hop around different scents. That's why I love these because you get a 30 day supply per bottle and I can just hop around scent. So honestly it ends up lasting longer because I don't wear it every day. I like to hop around with like my mood, with my outfit, where I'm going. These guys are also so much more affordable than buying like a whole bottle. Your first month for Scentbird is only $8 and then your next months are $16.95. They also have so many different brands to choose from. You have Prada, Versace, Juicy Couture, Ready Spears. And then they also have a lot of other like niche labels. I have found some of my favorite scents through those niche labels too. These little guys are nice too to carry in your bag because you can lock it so that nothing comes out when it's banging around your bag. Each scent also comes with these cards too. So you can actually learn a lot about what you're wearing. Not only does it have a description and all the ingredients listed out, but you also get a visual of all the notes in each scent. Without a doubt, you will find something for you. You can search by each of these notes if you know what you usually like to go for, or they also have a quiz you can take that will help you find which scent works for you and things that you like. And if you're interested in trying Scentbird, you can use my code MACT55 or click the link down below to get 55% off at Scentbird. Mm. Okay, let's go. Yum. It's popping out here right now. It's Father's Day, that's probably why. My lady. <laughs> Ally. I want the burger. The boss. Boss burger. Boss I'm baby. Because you're a boss. I'm a boss. I think, I think I'm going to get the strong bully. <laughs> What is it, you think? I don't know. It's served with marinara, though. Marinara. Mar What's stromboli? Why does it keep blinking? It's distracting. Does it always do that? It's focusing. Oh, probably. The harvest bowls are really good. I want chicken Caesar. What if we go strategic here? Because chicken Caesar sounds good to me, too, but I don't want it for my full meal. So what if we split the chicken Caesar? It's and just got huge. Else? Like, it's really big. Yeah. And I'm like, I wouldn't get the burger and, and the Caesar. Hot, yeah. Right. Crab cake sandwich. It's so good. Ask for an extra side of their sauce though, because it comes a little dry. What kind of bread is it on? Oh, brioche. Yeah. Really inside of my good. ears, itchy. I want truffle fries, so whatever I can get. Oh, I guess well, it comes with fries. Yeah. Or you could take my side of fries, because I don't want my side. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Take my side of fries. I'll upgrade them to truffle. Yeah. To first class. <laughs> Did you get to watch that TikTok? Yes. I cannot I like I wait for this. I had the incredible <gasps> privilege of seeing the original Broadway cast of Wicked <gasps> when I was 10. And... Okay, we're gonna go to Machi Machi. They have Tung Hulu, which I've been really wanting to try, and then some other yummy treats. So this is actually Mochi Mochi, and then the other one over there is Machi Machi. Very confusing. Strawberry, for sure. And then, oh, they have lemon. I want mandarin. This is the one I've been so excited for. I feel like I obviously know what this is gonna taste like, but mandarin. Mm. Oh my god. This is the Nutella donut. Chewy? Yeah. Yeah. It was good. Okay. Matcha donut. Tastes like matcha. I think I like the strawberry more because it's just like my favorite fruit. The mandarin is really good, but the mandarin, you could tell, was frozen before. And I wanted it to be like really juicy, so it wasn't very juicy, but I'm not mad. Next door is this beauty place. And look at all of these masks. It's buy five, get five free. And I recognize this brand. I feel like Urban used to carry it for like $8 each. They're only $3 a pop here. Snail. 
smoothing and firming. I don't know, I feel like I see people use that like snail shit on TikTok. If TikTok said it, it's probably good for you. Okay, so we're gonna hack the system. Or okay. she, she is. We're, I don't understand. We're gonna pick five each. Buy five, get five free. Yeah, so we're actually gonna pick five each and split the 15 bucks that we're gonna have to pay because it's $3 a piece. So it's gonna be 15 total, but we're gonna get five for seven fifty each. All I know is I, I understood the last part. I'm getting a deal and that's all I care about. Who's <laughs> We were about to walk out and then we found this other little store. It's so cute. Have you seen Spirit of the Way? No. You'd like it. These lamps remind me of my grandma. Okay, I just got home and took a quick shower. And I want to put these on while my face is still like supple. I think I'm going to do the snail one. Smoothening and firming. Oh, thank God it's not a rinsing one. I usually don't do face masks because honestly, they're kind of like a f sensory overload. They can be at least when they're just so like goofy and wet, but I do like that you don't have to rinse them because sometimes that's the shitty part of doing like a clay mask or like any like pot mask that you have to like put on with your hands is you have to wash it off after. But I got five of these bad boys, so we gotta get over it. I kind of just got back into toners and I'm glad I did because they always show you how much dirt is still on your skin even after cleansing. I'm using witch hazel. My mom always told me to use this shit growing. Boom! Ah! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I'm just trying to talk about witch hazel. <laughs> oh Link, it's okay. That really scared me. Which one did you do? I'm rice. I'm rice. I'm rice. <laughs> this feels like the ham guy in Mean Girls. Ooh, it feels good. It feels so good. Okay, besides this pimple, that mask was nice. Oh my god, I'm like out of my sunscreen. I obviously just showered. I have Olaplex in my hair and like a scalp oil. Just doing like a clean bun today that I do every fucking day. I'm thinking about getting my hair done. I'm for sure getting my hair done. I'm not thinking about it, I am. And I don't know when, I think maybe next week. So I just want to like start. Don't look in there. I just want to start Olaplex, you know? We're wearing Britney Spears today. And then right now I'm going to go make some returns. I have so many returns because for GovBall stuff, I was like buying a lot of things that I knew I would return. I just like needed to know what size I was. So I bought like two of everything and then picked my size. And then I'm obviously returning the ones that I didn't use. I need to go do that. And then I have a dentist appointment. It's just my six month checkup. So I'm not too nervous but typically I am like a nervous dentist person. I don't think it'll be anything crazy. I couldn't film like any of this. Oh wait, hold on. This reminds me of Gov Ball. Aw, kind of want one. But I couldn't film any of me on the bike, but I literally looked like a clown. I had so much stuff in the basket of the bike. It was a struggle, but I'm at Whole Foods. I just returned everything I need to return. And then now I'm grabbing some bed and then my dentist appointment. I guess I should just get water, huh? No soda or anything. I could tell New York is reaching that point of summer where it's gonna start getting like unbearable, where like you wanna run your errands early in the morning so you can not be in the sun. It is getting brutal. I don't know if I've told you guys about my dentist. She's the absolute best. I found her on Google and I was just looking up dentists that like had good reviews for people who are afraid of the dentist. I think her dentist's office is called New York Dentistry or something like that. I'll double check, I'm walking up right now, but if you are in the New York area and you are one of those people that are afraid of the dentist, I highly recommend her. She is so cool. She makes me feel like so comfortable and she makes me not feel rushed. I feel like that's a big thing in like any medical office for me is like I'm already just fucking anxious to be there. So if you rush me on top of my anxiety, I just like freeze, but she's great. Another thing she does that I have actually never experienced in a dentist is she puts chapstick on you before she starts doing whatever she's doing to you that day. What an underrated step. And I remember I complimented her when she did that. She's like, I mean, yeah, your mouth's open. Like your lips get crusty. It's like, you get it. This place looks like the back rooms. I'm getting nervous. Forget everything I said. It just smells like a dentist. Hi, Krista. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm okay. You okay? You guys got some good AC. Happy about that. 
You're freezing. Oh, well. Yeah, well, when you're sitting here. Like, All day, oh, yeah. Sorry, you have to, like, defrost. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. It's better than it being it. hot in here. You, I wouldn't oh, want to no, be getting a, stuff done it. while being sweaty, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pick your poison, I guess. <laughs> 116. That only took 30 minutes. There's my pearly white. I definitely still have, like, toothpaste all over my mouth. Other than that, she said my teeth look really good and healthy, and she told me that I floss a little too hard on my right side, which is common because I'm right-handed, so I gotta chill. But sometimes, like, flossing and Q-tips are the same kind of sensation for me, where, like, it feels so good that you can't stop even though you know you've gone too far, but I love flossing. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, hi. I love you. It's like 5, 10 right now, and I'll probably be hungry in the next like two hours, so I'm gonna marinate my salmon for tonight. I'm going really simple. I got this from, I think, I think Whole Foods or Morton Williams maybe. I know Trader Joe's has one called like their Soyaki, which is like literally the similar bottle, very similar ingredients. Oh wow, the ingredients are really clean in this. So I saw sugar, water, soybean oil, onion, salt, sesame seeds, garlic, ginger puree, and ginger. I could literally take shots of this. It's my favorite. And then extra garlic, cause duh. Never enough. Shake it up. I'm just gonna throw it back in the fridge. Very simple, but like, such an easy step to do before you cook any of your meats, fish, chicken, steak, whatever. Marinating is key. I also feel like that one, since it's so salty, I notice when I mar when I use it as a marinade, it like tenderizes whatever I'm cooking it with. Mm. I'll probably have it with some rice and cabbage. Also new, new angle in the kitchen unlocked. This is kind of cool. Lighting's kind of shitty there. My one thing about this kitchen and one thing I'm very excited to like figure out within our next move is I really want to be conscious of wherever we move next that the kitchen is easy to film in. It's not impossible in here, but it's, it's a bitch. And the lighting is atrocious as you've seen in probably every cooking video, unless I have this ring light but this ring light dies really quick. So I need to get one that like has a better battery life, obviously. Oh my God, I think I got pepper in my nose. If you're not sneezing, it isn't seasoned. Hey, I'm gonna close out the vlog here though. Thank you guys for watching. I'm already filming my next one. And then I also, tomorrow I'm like, I told myself I'm gonna sit down with my assistant and like lock in on how I want to start streaming. I have so many ideas and I'm, Honestly, like as much as I'm sitting down and like putting my mind to it tomorrow, I also want to be really like casual about it. I don't want to go into the streaming thing like with high expectations or anything because knowing myself, I'll like freak myself out and like overanalyze it and never start it. This is one of those things I know I just need to try and try again and try again and just like let it kind of organically turn into whatever it's gonna be or whatever it's not gonna be. And if you're like, what are you talking about? I posted a story, I think like a week or two ago, linking to my Twitch channel. I'll also link it down below. I, I wanna start streaming, whether it's chit chatting, cooking, cleaning, definitely down to like game a little bit. I'm not like a crazy gamer, so it's not like I'd be good at anything. I was also thinking like, I've never played um, Fortnite literally ever in my life and how fun would it be if I went live on Twitch and you guys taught me how to play it live. I don't know, just little, little things like that I think could be really fun. But I'm also open to hear any other wants or suggestions that you guys have. So as always, leave them down below. Also, before I go, I do want to say thank you again, Scentbird, for sponsoring today's video. And don't forget to check them out and use my code MACT55 for 55% off. Okay, love you.